Hi guys, welcome to Origin. Let me start off with a short disclaimer. I'm going to talk about two quite heated political issues. I'm undecided on both of them. I am just criticising one argument that's common to both of them. But don't assume that, you know, I take the opposite position. But everyone that subscribed to me will understand this, but it is a problem that's quite common on YouTube. So just in case. The first issue is Scottish independence. Now the vast majority of my viewers are American and probably wouldn't have heard anything about this, so first let me explain some of the details. Now Scotland is part of the United Kingdom, but it has its own separate parliament and government. The political party that currently has a majority is the SNP, or Scottish National Party. Now don't get the wrong idea, they're nothing like the BNP, they're not, like, whites only, or they're not openly racist or anything like that, they're simply nationalists. There were, I think, some accusations of Anglophobia, I think Islamophobia, but against the English. But from what I've heard, they're not very substantial. Basically, in the next few years, they're going to try and get a referendum on whether or not Scotland should secede from the UK, become a separate country, a sovereign country in their own right. Meaning that if the majority opinion is yes, then the United Kingdom will simply consist of England, Wales and Northern Ireland. Scotland will no longer be a part of it. Now, some supporters of the idea point to our current government, the previous governments, you know, Brown, Blair, Major, Thatcher, whatever, however, however far back you want to go. The reason for supporting the independence is how bad those governments have been. If you want to convince me to support this idea of independence, and certainly anyone that thinks like me, I want to suggest that this is a very bad way of doing it. I don't see the mismanagement of the UK government as a reason to secede from the UK. If there is a management problem, then obviously the problem is bad management. It's got nothing whatsoever to do with the structure of the United Kingdom. You have to show that it's far more than a management problem. Or at the very least, that it's a management problem that can't be solved. I don't see a situation in which that could be the case, but maybe I'm wrong, maybe you can prove me wrong. The second issue is basically the same thing, just on a larger scale. Whereas before it was Scotland in relation to the UK, this time it's the UK in relation to the European Union. Same deal. If you want to secede from the European Union, don't use their management as a reason. Fundamentally, this concept of you can't govern, so we don't want to be part of you anymore, is very unhealthy. Think about where that could lead. Think about, you know, what Europe as a whole could look like if not just every country, but every county, maybe even on a lower level still, took this to its logical conclusion, they'd all be separate from each other. They'd pretty much all be really tiny countries in a huge area of land. Now, before you say slippery slope fallacy, I'm not saying that's what will happen. I'm just saying it's not a good precedent to set. Now, supporters of Scottish independence and Eurosceptics are probably going to say something like this in response to what I've said. You're missing the point. It's not about management, it's about them telling us what to do. And that's very much a separate issue. I'll deal with that, let's say, in the next video. What should you take away from this video? Well, it's not just about these two issues, there's other ones as well. There's an error in reasoning here occurring which I call a hatchet job. It's doing far more than what's needed to solve the problem. The solution you come up with should always be the simplest one. Thank you for watching, goodbye.